This week at Interior. It's official, Secretary Bernhardt has formally established the Bureau of Land Management's new headquarters in Grand Junction, Colorado. Managing 245 million acres of public land, primarily in 12 western states, this brings BLM's leadership closer to the lands they manage and the rest of the Bureau's employees. The move is expected to save taxpayers millions of dollars in the years to come. The Trump administration this week announced a new report highlighting achievements that support and improve habitat quality in western big game winter range and migration corridors. Since 2018, Interior and its partners have facilitated 73 projects across 11 states with more than $47 million in federal and matching grants for conservation programs. The administration this week also released a draft strategic plan for combating an estimated $120 billion problem, invasive species. It's taken significant actions to more effectively manage such species, which impact water supplies, impair hunting and fishing opportunities, interfere with energy production, exacerbate wildfires, and drive native species to extinction. The Secretary signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Israel to support cooperation on biodiversity conservation, protected areas, and protection of cultural and historical heritage. The U.S.'s relationship with Israel is critical as the agencies work to create a framework to tackle mutual challenges such as combating wildlife trafficking, protecting ecosystems, and managing parks and cultural sites. As Tropical Storm Isaias raced north up the Atlantic seaboard last week at speeds of as much as 30 miles per hour, USGS crews from South Carolina to New York fanned out across rain-swollen waterways to measure the effects of the storm. At least 87 hydrologists and hydrologic technicians were in the field measuring water flows on rivers and streams where water levels are high documenting signs of flooding in places where waters have already peaked, and collecting water samples for testing to determine whether the storm's runoff has affected water quality. Secretary Bernhardt has designated counselor to the Secretary Margaret Everson to exercise the authority of the Director of the National Park Service. Deputy Director David Vela, who's been leading the NPS, announced his upcoming retirement. After more than 50 years of deliberations, the Bureau of Reclamation this week began construction of a new system to provide clean drinking water to 10,000 residents of several New Mexico pueblos. Phase one of the project includes water intake structures, a control building, 20 miles of water conveyance pipeline, three water storage tanks, and a water treatment plant. And our social media picture of the week, the vast wild landscape of Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area. With over 120,000 acres in Montana and Wyoming, and more than 10,000 years of human history to explore, visitors can hike 28 miles of trails, hunt, fish, and camp to their heart's delight. Wildlife in the park includes bighorn sheep, wild horses, coyotes, mule deer, snakes, small mammals, mountain lions, bears, and more than 200 bird species. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That's This Week at Interior.